What time is it? Tawana time. T A W Y A N A. T A W Y A N A. Hi guys, I am back with another video. And today I am going to be showing you guys how to figure out the volume of your mold, of your soap mold. Sorry, I'm being nosy. <laughs> um, this recipe, this recipe. Oh my goodness, this is what happens when you be nosy and you're in other people's business. You get distracted. Life lesson. Okay. <laughs> um, this video um, serves the purpose for all of my soap makers or beginner soap makers who are trying to figure out how much batter, how much soap batter you need to make. Okay. So here is one of the molds that I have. I have two of these. This one has already been measured and fixed up. This is the one I've been using. I actually bought another one. I bought another one a while ago, but I haven't used it yet. And so I am going to be checking the um, the volume of the other one just to be 100% sure. It's the exact same size, but I just wanna be sure that you know it's gonna hold what it's supposed to hold <laughs> so i'm going to be checking that one and i'm going to show you guys how to check the volume of your soap mode any kind of soap mode so yeah <laughs> before we jump into this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you know the next time i post a video and also leave any other suggestions of any kind of videos that you guys would like to see and make sure you guys check out my website, my lip gloss, body butters, body scrubs, soaps, all that good stuff. Go check it out. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so like I said, um, this is my mold that I have been using for a while. So I'm going to get this one out the way. And voila, this is the new one. This has not been washed or anything yet. <laughs> I honestly haven't touched it since I took it out of the package. So yeah pay no mind to that okay so how to determine the volume of your soap mode volume is basically the width times the length times the height so that's what we are going to do we're going to figure out the length the width and the height of the inside of the container whenever you're trying to figure out the volume you want to make sure that you're doing from the inside because um that's the part that it matters basically if I was to measure all the way out to the edge here if you guys can see if I was to add on that thickness then that would be adding on more volume that is not actually a part of what the container the inside part can hold I have this little measuring tape thingy thingy I think it's for measuring bodies but <laughs> we're gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna use it to measure this container today because it's flexible as you guys can see it's flexible it's flexy now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna measure in inches so i may zoom in just a little bit so you guys can actually see so i'm gonna just take it to where the zero is i don't know if you guys can see oh where am i so there's the zero right there and i'm just gonna smash that zero that line next to that zero into the corner of my container so this may take me a while to get it perfect but the great thing is this container is kind of like because of the material it the measuring thing sticks to it so kind of helps me out okay oh, oh 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 can you guys see that see i think i'm zoomed in a little too much go back and then i get a phone call okay hold on y'all back to this measuring i'm gonna zoom out Let's zoom out, okay? We're gonna get it together, y'all. We're gonna get it together. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna smash the other. I'm gonna try to make it as straight as possible because if you don't, if you're not measuring straight, you're not really getting a 100% accurate measurement. You know what I'm saying? If you measure a little crooked, you may get more than what it actually is. Okay, so I have it smashed from one side to the other. And what I'm seeing right here is that it is approximately 10 and a half inches. And I say approximately approximately because I'm not I'm not very good at figuring out all those extra <laughs> uh, one fourth of an inch and a quarter and a dash and a, all of that stuff. I'm not good at that. So I'm just going to approximate to half an inch. Uh, so I'm going to say that that was 10 and a half inch uh, inches. I'm going to make that my length. 
So I'm going to get some paper and write that down. Hold on. I'm going to put this in here so y'all can see. So my length is going to be 10.5 inches. Okay. You guys see that? Boom. All right. Now I'm going to do my width, which I'll be going the opposite way. So length, now width. Press that line for that zero in the corner over there. Try to make this as straight as possible. And this is approximately, my width is approximately 10 inches. So, I'm going to write that down in here. My width is 10 inches. Bam, got my length and my width. Now to figure out my height. I'm going to take my thing and I'm going to measure from the top up here. So I'm going to put my zero line right up at the top at the very edge of the thing. And then I'm going to smash it down to here. And that is approximately three inches. So let's write that down. Three inches. So my height is three inches inches okay so now that we have that part out of the way i can get rid of this mold and we can get down to the math part yay i'm gonna be using this as like a dry erase board okay don't judge me so what i need to do is um like i said volume equals length times width times height okay so I'm going to take my length, remember my length was 10.5, so 10.5, and then that's times 10 for my height, my width, my bad, and then times 3 for my height. I am going to use a calculator. <laughs> I can figure this out a little bit. Um, that's 30 and then 30 times 10 would be 300.5. Yeah, it's something around 300 and something. We're going to figure it out though. <laughs> okay, we have 10.5 times 10 times 3. And that is 315. 315. 15 and this would be called cubic inches so that was how, that's how we would write it down so this is 315 cubic inches now all we need to do is I hope you guys can really see that 315 cubic inches so now the next thing you need to do is convert from cubic inches to ounces um or you can convert to pounds i use ounces um because it's just easier for me um so that's what i'm going to show you guys i'm going to show you guys how to convert this to ounces i'm going to record on my phone so you guys can see and i'll put it up here so hold on let me pull up my little recorder i'm going to put cubic inches this is google by the way oh that's my cute little notification thing anyway <laughs> cubic inches to ounces dun, dun, dun. all right so you're going to plug in right here your cubic inches which we have 315 so 315 and boom it shows you how much it is in u.s fluid ounces so 315 um, cubic inches is 174.545 fluid ounces. I'm just going to round that up. The 5 is going to change that. Um, the 0.545 is going to change that um, 174 to 175. So I'm just going to round up and say that I have 175 ounces. So my container can hold 175 approximately 175 ounces can you guys see that my container can hold approximately 175 ounces and to keep up with this <laughs> I am going to write it on the bottom of my container I'm just gonna put one 
75 don't oh my goodness this is horrible i wrote that so horribly but anyway <laughs> i put the it is 175 ounces just write it on the bottom just so you don't forget um and it'll always be there it won't go away and bada bing bada boom we did it we just figured out the volume of our container and now we can use that information to come up with a recipe y'all my lights just flickered that scared the crap out of me if you guys are interested in learning how to create a recipe with that information that we just found out figuring out our um the volume of our container then let me know give this video a thumbs up i hope this video was very informative to you guys i hope you really liked the video um if you did like the video make sure like like i said give it a thumbs up give you girl a thumbs up so other people can see this video <laughs> And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Hit that bell button so you'll know the next time I post a video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.